Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Medha aka the RCI and this is a very very highly requested video on my channel and people are going crazy in my DMs and the comments section and they want to know about my cat experience and cat related tips, tricks, my interview experience and all. So first I have decided that I will be making interviews based on college in as a separate videos and once I take admission and start my MBA journey then I will be making the full cat experience. So today's video is about Great Lakes interview experience. Okay, so I have my laptop here and I've opened a document and I've jotted down everything which I want to speak about this college and my entire interview experience. So if in case you see me checking, it is because I'm checking the document. Now coming to Great Lakes, it has two campuses. First is the Chennai campus, which is the main one. And the second one is the Gurgaon campus. And they take CAT, ZAT and I think CMAT scores as well. And I have been called for both the campuses. Now coming to the interview experience, uh, I was called on the basis of my profile. Now if you don't know what is a profile based call, it is basically your 10, 12 graduation, uh, extracurricular or you know whatever you have done in life based on that and it is called the achievers round in great lakes so i got the mail in december but don't worry if you just got a normal call because i have talked with many people and they said the experience was exactly the same it's just that my call was given in the month of december and they got call after the cat or zat results now coming to the actual round they have two rounds the first is the awt test awt is nothing but a written ability test where they will be giving a topic on which you will have to write an essay it is generally 300 words essay it can vary like 250 to 350 you know and the time given was around 30 minutes so the topic for the awt this year was which one should be more promoted by the government a uh, public transport or normal electric vehicles okay now coming to the second round the personal interview round this actually did not happen on the same day uh, i think there was a week gap between the two so for my personal interview there were two panel members the first one was a very old professor and the second one was a very young ma'am and the entire thing was done via zoom my uh, PI was 15 to 20 minutes. So it started with the professor asking me something about myself, the typical personal interview, and I explained everything that I could in the ascending order, like my 10th, 12th graduation, what I did after graduation, my self-employment, blah, blah, blah. Like I completely said the entire story. After that, he asked about my gap year, like gap year means after I graduated and the day of interview, what was I actually doing? So I explained because I am indulged in many, many activities. So it took a lot of time for me to actually explain everything. And he was actually was not able to grasp properly. So he was not satisfied with my answer and asked me to elaborate more. So I just told about all the different activities which I did about which I will making a separate video. So don't worry. And then in that i stated that i also helped my father so he then asked about my father's business what i was doing there like what is his business in general uh, what kind of shop he has how was i helping him what was my role etc etc and after that i guess the professor was satisfied by my answer so he asked the ma'am to ask the next question now the young ma'am was actually way more strict than i thought her to be and she was the one to actually start the stress interview now the first question which she asked was whether I read newspaper or not. Now here is the deal about me. I like to be 100% honest about all the things in the interviews, whether it's MBA interview or not. I just like to be honest and I'm not a very good newspaper reader. So I just said, you know, I don't read newspaper. So the second question she asked was being a business management student, how do I keep myself updated? Again, I became honest and replied that I get my news from blogs, articles, Twitter, YouTube, from all the different sources, but not necessarily the physical newspaper. Okay, so the next thing she asked was, tell me a recent news which I came across and I remember talking about 
grow first because at that time it was changing uh, to this 10 minute strategy and I also talked about Zepto being its competitor because it was already following the 10 minute delivery model and after that she was like okay but tell me another news which I came across so at that point of time I remember the day before my interview the stock market acted very volatile so I talked about that I guess she was satisfied by that and then she jumped on to the next question which was what kind of specialization am I into and why? So I again I told what are my strengths weakness and I would really like to go into HR or marketing one of these two. Now a fun fact Great Lakes does not have HR as its core program. It has marketing and if you want to take HR, you can do it uh, as a minor, but you cannot take HR major there. So if in case you wanted to know that. Okay, after that she went to my essay which I wrote during AWT and she completely disagreed to whatever I wrote there. Now it was like a for or against thing. So I explained her my point of view clearly. Then she was not uh, you know, satisfied by my answer. So she was cross questioning me. I was again explaining myself. So this happened for a good few minutes I remember. Then after that she came to the certifications which I did. I had a few certifications done and she asked about my certificate regarding consumer behavior and she asked why did I do that particular certification instead of some other random uh, certificates. After that uh, she asked about some certifications which I did. Uh, it was regarding consumer behavior and the question was why did I select that particular course instead of something else and whatever my answer was after that she asked why do I feel consumer behavior is important and I explained myself. Lastly, she asked that I have a business, a very small business which you know the artsy I I sell uh, art, painting, prints, candles and everything. So she wanted to know whether I want to take placement or whether I want to grow my business as a proper company. And again, I explained myself what are my future plans, where do I see myself after five years and what are the different things that can play out and, it's, and it was a very variable thing whatever i just explained so that was the last question and after that the professor the first interviewer actually asked me whether i wanted to know something from them and i asked about their course like what kind of specialization should i look into and things regarding that and he said that uh, once i get admission uh, he and many other professors will be there to guide me so i don't need to think about that right now so that was my interview experience now your interview experience can be totally different than me because as you know personal interviews are completely unpredictable but if I see the interviewers more or less CV oriented or what I have done regarding to my extracurricular or my activities or my certifications and it was not some theory based questions or political GK based. So I, f I feel these interviews are really very good because the interview can actually understand me and I can prove what are my strengths and weaknesses. So I really this interview actually went really well for me uh, and I think that is why I got converted. Uh, I got into Great Lakes Chennai which is their main campus uh, for PGDM 22-24 program. Okay guys so that was my experience. Thank you for watching. If you want to support me you can hit the like and subscribe button and if you want to see a particular video please let me know in the comment section. I will try to make that video but no promises and yeah I will see you in the next one. Bye!